what to do with a press that has chosen sides. That's the advice we'll dispense in tonight's preamble. Let's start here. Joe Biden was confronted by a non-network reporter on a recent Gallup poll that showed 56% of Americans think they are better off today in the middle of a pandemic than they were in the last days of the Obama-Biden administration. This is how the savior of the Democrat Party responded. Why should people who feel that they are better off today under the Trump administration vote for you? Well, if they think that, they probably shouldn't. They think 54% of American people are better off economically today than they were in our administration. Well, their memory is not very good, quite frankly. You heard that right. The Democrat presidential candidate just said that 56% of Americans should not vote for him. He then went on to insult the majority of Americans, saying they had poor memories. <laughs> the idiot who can't remember what day it is, what state he's in, or what office he's running for had the stones to insult Americans for having poor memories? Uh, that rare, challenging question aside... The majority of the press is liberal and treats Democrats with kid gloves. Most have demonstrated that they don't know how or are not inclined to check their personal biases at the door. The networks are the worst offenders here. We saw proof once again at last night's town halls on ABC News. A former member of the Clinton administration was chosen to challenge Joe Biden on the big issues of the day. George Snuffleupagus did not challenge Biden in the slightest. He didn't ask about the biggest story in the country right now, the Hunter Biden email story that was published by the New York Post just two days ago. The town hall on ABC was instead a one-hour commercial for Biden, designed to make the candidate feel at ease. The Democrat moderator gave Biden the town hall equivalent of a back rub and a foot massage. And George's flowing salt and pepper hair was freshly washed and combed, ready for Beijing Biden to give it a good sniff. On NBC, it was quite a different story. Savannah Guthrie took it upon herself to be a Biden surrogate and debate the president, taking time away from those who wanted access to their president. Trump over myriad topics. After learning that Biden had uttered another racist statement, Savannah wanted to ask Trump to once again repudiate white supremacy and racism. Guthrie, who works at NBC, the former home of Matt Lauer, a man accused of inappropriate sexual behavior toward women, also, the network that spiked a story about the female predator and Democrat donor, Harvey Weinstein. Guthrie spent a lot of time trying to get Trump to disavow QAnon, a group that has, well, noticed and condemned pedophilia and the behavior of those high-profile Democrats like Weinstein, Epstein, Lauer, Bill Clinton, and others. Now, once he wasn't appearing to defend child predation... Savannah was busy lying about Obamacare, saying that Trump had already repealed it. On the pre-existing conditions, this is such a big issue for voters. It is a big issue for me, too. In point of fact, your administration is about to go to the Supreme Court to argue to That's throw right. out the rest of Obamacare, which includes the protections for pre-existing right. conditions. That's right. So your administration is in court right now trying to get rid of that protection. In order to replace it with a much better health care at a much lower price and always, under all circumstances, we are going to protect the Republicans. And I mean, maybe I changed the party a lot over the last three years, but we will protect people with pre-existing conditions. The worst you've part, repealed, but you haven't replaced. Now, you've been no, in, in office no. almost four years. We, what we you, have had, done. you had both houses of Congress, Senate and, and House, in Republican hands, That's and right. there is not a replacement yet. That's right. I'm sorry, but if you look, we had both houses, and what did we do? We got rid of the individual mandate. Mm -hmm. According to the Democrat presidential candidate, Savannah Guthrie, well, she was the only one debating the president last night, right? According to NBC's Savannah Guthrie, Americans must take all of the bad stuff from Obamacare just so we can get the small, tiny benefits. She seemed to be suggesting that Obamacare was the only way to achieve protections for pre-existing conditions and allowing kids to stay on their parents' policies until the age of 26. We addressed this foolish line of thinking in 2013 when I, your humble host, was working over there at The Blaze. And this is what the administration has set up for us in Obamacare. Doesn't this just look yummy? 
I just want to sink my teeth into that. Does it really look appetizing to you? Well, more and more people find out about Obamacare. It's exactly the reaction they get. There it is, the crap sandwich that is Obamacare. Now, here's what President Obama has done with Obamacare. He's put a piece of bread on top of it. And uh, he's put a little whipped cream on top of it. A little sweetener. Huh? Doesn't that look a lot more appetizing? This is pre-existing conditions. This is staying on your parents' policies until you're 26. What do you think? You want to want to take a bite? Does that does, does this whipped cream on top of Obamacare's cramp sandwich make you want to just sink your teeth into it? Hmm. The very idea that we have to accept government control of our health insurance, skyrocketing premiums, skyrocketing deductibles, fewer choices, expensive insurance that is so lousy it can't even be used just so that those with pre-existing conditions can't get denied said crappy insurance coverage and just so our kids can stay on our subpar policies until they're 26 is ludicrous. There is a better way. Just because Savannah Guthrie and NBC worshipped Barack Obama as a deity doesn't mean he was one. His signature piece of garbage law proved to many of us that he is just a man and a not intelligent one at that. On this program, we give you the news every day and we give you our conservative opinion on those news stories. I have never lied to you, my beloved audience, about my conservatism, and I never will. Those at NBC, ABC, CBS, CNN, MSNBC, and the rest, they give their audience the news every day, and they claim that they present that news in a fair and non-biased way as journalists. Last night's town halls are, well, a microcosm, proving that statement to be false. The people who work on those networks lie to their audiences every single day. They are not journalists. They are liberal opinion hosts. If you don't appreciate being lied to every day, there is a cure for that. Tune them out. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.